from the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Monday, January 18th, 2016. I'm Ann Gownley. Tonight, the entire WYLN family is saddened by the loss of our co-founder, Irene Gans. WYLN's Gary Perna has a look back at the life of a pioneer in cable television. The greater...
Sisters and uh, Lehigh Valley Health Network down in Cedar Crest uh, working together. Uh, it, it's such an amazing, amazing story about not quitting and, um, and, and giving Justin a chance. Uh, Dr. Coleman, you, you, you saw the video. Um, he refused to quit. And uh, working uh, with our team, both those first responders out in the field, as well as our team here and our colleagues down in Cedar Crest, um, truly a medical miracle. You know, the, the job that Lehigh Valley, once they got him on the, in the Macuda ambulance and they got him to uh, Hazleton and Dr. Coleman's decision to, to start uh, compressions and, and work them, and then, and then have Lehigh Valley Allentown take them down there and, and perform ECMO on them, it was just an incredible, you know, I, I can't thank these people enough for having, having the, 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 the courage and, and the, the, the go to, to move forward and try to, try to bring them back. After countless hours and days of medical treatment and months of recovery, Justin returned to the hospital today to thank those who helped him on his road to recovery. I'm not going to lie, it was tough. I was, I, was a little, I was a little bummed out at the beginning with the feet and everything, but um, I'm starting to rehab. Everything's been going great through rehab. I'm, I'm walking again. I'm moving around, and um, it's just been great. Continuing on his road to recovery, Justin is beyond grateful to those who saved his life and adds he plans on living it to the fullest. Um, it's been an experience I've never been through before. It's, it's just amazing. It just goes to show you how many people, when you surround yourself with great people, it shows you how many people really care about you. And you're just you're destined to do great things. I mean, I can't thank everyone enough. I mean, I'm truly forever grateful, and I, I can't thank everyone enough. Thank you. To see more of Justin's story, you can log on to lvhn.org. Coming up next, Gary Perna is back with a full look at our forecast. Stay tuned. More news is headed your way only on WYLN. WYLN TV 35, first in live sports. Join Marty Burns, Joe DeMelfi, and the entire WYLN sports team as we bring you the best in live local sports. WILN TV 35, the event, not just the highlights. WYLN TV 35 has strong ties to the community as evident in its commitment to important causes like the American Cancer Society and Helping Hand Society Tilt Funds. WYLN's commitment to Northeastern Pennsylvania continues with a broadcast of Hazelton's Fun Fest Parade and both the Christmas and St. Patrick's Day Parades in Wilkesbury. In the summer, we broadcast the Weatherly and Chines of Spare Hill Flag, and throughout the year, we provide important community services through the broadcast of town meetings, school board meetings, election night coverage, and other events. WYLN, we're your local network. I tell you what, what a difference a weekend's made. You know, last week we were standing here, yeah, there was snow on the ground, but it wasn't this cold. It is so cold out here tonight that I can see my breath while I'm talking to you. And it's only continuing to get cooler or colder or frigid as we move on. Let's take a look at the maps now. Uh, and this was pretty much the last 24 hours what we saw. And the temperatures are going to continue to drop as we head into the nighttime hours here. And it's going to continue to drop for uh, the next week or so as well. Nothing, you know, really too much to worry about of getting warm temperatures because that ain't going to happen anytime soon. Currently out there, Boston's coming in with 26, New York 27, and 13. Look at that out there. Chicago coming in at 7, 1 up there as well. All right, the past 24 hours here at home, not that cold. 33 in Wilkes-Barre, 31 up in Tawanda, 34 uh, in Williamsburg, 30 out here in State College. But those con temperatures are going to continue to drop tonight as uh, this cold air continues to push in. The past 24 hours, we had some cold temperatures, teens, single digits as well, move through our area. That's going to be the trend again uh, moving th through tonight. Currently outside our, uh, here in Pennsylvania, 19 in Volca, 12 in Mount Pocono, 21 in Williamsport, 21 also in Allentown, 25 down in Philadelphia. Not extremely bad, but you tell you what, that wind, uh, once that started whipping, uh, there was no slowing it down. No really affects, uh, weather effects in our area tonight uh, here in our area. 
live Doppler radar not picking up anything out there tonight, there is a chance for some, maybe a light um, snow to be moved through the area. Nothing major, nothing going to ac accumulate, so don't worry about anything about that. Currently outside is 10 degrees with a wind chill factor of 4 below 0. That's cold, and it's going to continue like that. With that wind coming out of the west or northwest, uh, about 6 miles per hour. Currently up in the Wyoming Valley, not looking too hot either, with temperatures in 19 and 20. You're traveling tonight, 13 in Tawanda, 13 in William, or excuse me, Wilkesbury, 12 out in Williamsport, 12 in Sealands Grove. Tomorrow, high temperatures, not looking that great. 25 up in Wilkesbury, it's going to be cold. There's going to be that wind again. We could also see a chance of a snow uh, passing through, maybe snow flurry, one or two coming through the area, but nothing really major. That snowstorm coming in this weekend, well, some computer models right now are looking for kind of what they, you know, what they're looking for, and we really don't know. One model is showing we're going to get a foot of snow. Another model is showing that we may get somewhere between six and eight. We'll keep you posted as we go through. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday, not looking too bad. That snow is going to start Friday night into Saturday, and we're going to call it snow all day Saturday for right now with a high of 28 degrees. So just be prepared, and we'll, of course, keep you up to date with all the information about the snow on Saturday as we get closer. Stay with us. We'll be right back. If you haven't found the perfect fishing getaway, you haven't been to Captain's Cove. Located on Henderson Harbor in upstate New York, Captain's Cove offers a variety of accommodations to please just about anyone. The motel, also located on the harbor, offers a magnificent view. Enjoy free morning coffee, air-conditioned rooms, cable TV, and HBO. The cottage can accommodate up to eight people with three bedrooms, a complete kitchen, washer-dryer, two full baths, air conditioning, an outside grill, and picnic table. Call us today for rates and information at 1-800-824-FISH. Not only am I the news anchor for WYLN's Late Edition News at 10, but I also like to donate my time to organizations like the American Cancer Society. The Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce launched its 2016 membership drive today. This year's theme is Cruise Into Membership. For the next six weeks, Chamber Ambassadors will try to sign up 48 new members. A brand new business is already on board. Larry standing next to me is the first new member in our Cruise Into Membership. I'll let you talk about that. And he's actually doing double duty here today because for any members who join between today through February 26, we have great partners who will be offering special prizes to one of those lucky winners. And Larry doing double duty with Panorama, who is one of our partners in this and will be offering one of those new members a free one month ad in the fantastic community oriented Panorama magazine. The Chamber helps businesses with recognition and networking opportunities. The Seattle-style coffee shop in the Laurel Mall is one of the newest members of 2016. I'm here as part of the promotion with the, for Seattle Express, Seattle-style coffee. Uh, we have a new business in the Laurel Mall and also uh, doing some duty with the Panorama Community Magazine offering a half-page ad to any new member uh, during, the, during the membership drive for the local Chamber of Commerce. We spoke with WYLN Sales and Marketing Director Billy Washko, who has a special offer for new Chamber members. Well, of course, WYLN is always happy to help out the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we're heavily involved in, of course, the Fun Fest Parade and many events throughout the year. But uh, we're offering this advertising package for new members of uh, the Chamber. I just want to help jumpstart their business. You know, they're getting involved in the Chamber of Commerce. A lot of them are newer businesses. Some of them are older businesses, but maybe for some reason hasn't been a member of the Chamber. But we want to advertise and help them on their media buying with our advertising package. To get more information on becoming a member, you can contact the Chamber at 570-455-1509 or visit hazeltonchamber.org. Coming up next, Eric DiBerardinas is in with sports here on WYLN. Plus, Gary Perno will have one final look at that chilly forecast. Stay tuned.
Hi, I'm Bill Washko. Join me for a Let's Talk Chiropractic when our guest, Rick Ryder, professional wrestler, will be on with Dr. Stacy and Dr. John. Only on WILN TV 35. At Whitetail Preserve, they pride themselves with giving their guests five-star service. They are now open for lunch six days a week and offer limited delivery service for lunch to businesses in Cunningham, Valmont, and Humboldt Industrial Park. Call them at 570-384-2314. Attention area residents, the winter sports season is going on now. Show your support for local student athletes. Attend a live sporting event in your area. WILN, we're your local network. The weather with a chance to knock out basketball games later in the week, but not a threat for early week matchups, including Tuesday's live WYLN broadcast. Tomorrow at 7.30, right here on WYLN, Crestwood will host Wyoming Valley West in boys' backs basketball action from Mountaintop. The Comets are currently 4-1 in league play and rounding into form receiving contributions across the court. The Spartans 2-3 and three in conference play have a ton of athletes, but still trying to mesh as a unit standing just 3-11 and 11 overall in the WBC. Again, the Wyoming Valley Conference Division I foes tip off Tuesday at 7.30. Saturday, he was coaching the Kansas, or Tim Banks, rather, was hired today as the Penn State offensive defensive co-coordinator and secondary coach. He joins Penn State after spending four years with Illinois serving in the same capacity. Now Tim Banks also coached with James Franklin in 2003 and 2004 at the University of Maryland. Tim Banks joining the Nittany Lions defense. Bob Shoup moved on last week, so Tim Banks joins Penn State. On Saturday he was coaching up the Kansas City Chiefs Offense. Monday, Doug Peterson was officially named the next Philadelphia Eagles head coach. Peterson has previously been in the organization as a quarterback quality control coordinator and quarterbacks coach. Eagles owner Jeff Lurie said, quote, Doug is a strategic thinker, a compelling leader and communicator, and someone who truly knows how to get the best out of his players, end quote. Peterson's introductory press conference will be held Tuesday at 2 p.m. Tonight on Late Edition Sports, we will have highlights from high school basketball. But next, Gary Perna is in with a final look at the forecast. Join us this week on Women Today. Paula Hahn from Fritzinger Town Senior Community is going to give you some advice on how you can transition a loved one to an assisted living facility. We've got a Trinity White from California to sample from Simply Homebrew. Kathy's going to introduce us to Broccoli Rob. Of course, we've got great giveaways and another inspiring young woman on the move. It's all coming up this week on Women Today. Join us. All right, and there goes Mike Lula. Hi, Mike. Anyway, okay, so the seven-day forecast moving through the area. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, not looking too bad. Saturday, we're going to see that snowstorm, and it looks like it's going to start Friday into Saturday. So if you have any plans for Saturday, you may want to, um, you know, may want to rethink them. Stay with us here at YLN, and we'll, of course, keep you updated. But right now, we're looking somewhere in between six to eight inches. Um, one computer model is showing maybe a foot, but eh, that's a little iffy, and we're a few days out yet. So just stay with us as we uh, look and see. All right, I guess we'll have to wait and see because I know there's a lot of basketball games on a Friday night. So Yeah, there's basketball. This week we have a Thursday night broadcast, so we we'll, mm -hmm. should be able to get yeah, that Thursday game in, uh, but some games looking to get canceled probably yeah. on Friday night. Okay. Well, everyone here behind the scenes and in front of the camera, we just want to uh, send our condolences to the entire Gans family and all of our other coworkers that aren't mm -hmm. here right now. Irene, she certainly was one to remember, a beautiful oh, soul, and every time we talked to her, she always made you laugh. There was always something about her that made you smile. So we um, just want to, uh, this is a memory of her. So thank you very much, Irene, and of course to Joe, her husband, and we send our condolences. Good night, everyone.